What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dobrensky here, coming at you with a little bit of a different video today. I sort of want to do a talking head video going over a few things that I want to get off my chest, mostly in regards to potential changes for Diablo 2 Resurrected, the source of a lot of the kind of friction where I think it's coming from, of just even like the slight mention of something changing in D2R and people just going off the handle on social media. And then I'll wrap everything up with some potential kind of wish list changes that I would like to see or, you know, thoughts on adding additional content or maybe future stuff for Diablo 2 Resurrected. But the purpose of this video is to not drive hate. It's really to just open up a discussion, kind of just talk about things. So again, let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree or disagree with any of my points. I do always read the comments. I don't always respond, but I do always read them. So any feedback is welcome. The first thing that I want to do to start off talking about is just kind of like an overall disclaimer is what I think the priority should be for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Blizzard has already stated this. I have already stated this. The developers, like this is not anything new, but at this point, so close to the launch, the priority should be polishing the bugs and making sure everything is ready, trying to get the stability for the server set up on the launch of the 23rd, and then trying to get the ladder, the official ranked ladder starting as quickly as possible after the 23rd. Because we all know now that Ladder is not going to launch on day one. They want to get everything stable, so no rollbacks, no losing items, progression. They can start like a fair, even competitive race to 99. So that should be, bar none, the priority like on September the 23rd moving forward. No new content, nothing like that. Now it has been alluded from Rod Ferguson. He did tweet and mention that the Diablo team has been discussing potential changes for after the release of Diablo 2 Resurrected. And one of them was, he was asked about personal loot, and it's something that they don't plan on implementing the 23rd, but it's something that they have been discussing. Now there's two kind of segues I wanna go off about the whole idea of personal loot. The first one is that I don't think it's a good fit for D2R. I think it's too much of a change. Uh, just for those that know me and have watched my content stream in previous videos, I am all for adding additional items or rumors, minor skill balancing, maybe making a couple skills that aren't used a little bit more viable. I would like to see auras on mercenaries. More on that when we jump into the wish list thing, like auras on additional mercenaries besides Act 2 mercs. I am, I do like to keep the solid foundation of Diablo 2 the way it is, but I would like to kind of expand and improve upon it. That's kind of a hard line to run because not a lot of people agree or disagree, but I think that personal loot is, it's too much of a change for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now the other kind of segue, I just wanted to get that out of the way there, but just don't want you guys to think that I'm pro personal loot. But the other segue that I want to talk about is why I think there is so much vocal hate for some potential changes for Diablo 2 Resurrected. And I really think it's a collision course of new people that have played other games like Diablo 3 or maybe PoE. They're accustomed to some more, you know, modern day ARPG features and they kind of want those pushed into Diablo 2 Resurrected. And then you have a smaller, more vocal minority group of players that have played the game for a very, very, very long time. They're really attached to it. They're super enthusiastic about it. And they don't want to see a single thing change. And I think that that small group is very vocal and they're just not really open to any changes. And I think that a little bit of the problem with that is that because they're so vocal, kind of like the squeaky wheel gets the grease, that is kind of like the issue of what I think the problem is. It's just a larger base of people that want more change versus a small, super vocal minority that is fighting anything being changed. Like they're just pushing back against it very vocally, very, just, they're just super against it. That's the, just the easiest way to put it. They just don't want anything changed in the game. And I have seen this time and time again on different Reddit surveys where more than 75% of the survey people would like to see additional changes whether it's new content, mercenary balancing, skill balancing, new items, new rumors, they want more than what the current game has to offer. Now, I think that a really good way to address the situation of the 70-30 split and trying to please everybody, I've mentioned this before, but if you have a three ladder system moving forward into the future, if they do plan on adding additional content, have your original classic ladder, your 1.14D ladder, which is just what the current state of Diablo 2 is, and then have a modern ladder that has newer features like room balancing or skill balancing or new items, whatever. That way, everybody can play what they want. The only drawback to this that I've seen people criticize about this idea is that it's going to split the player base even more, but I personally think that it's people that are going to be playing on 1.14 that don't want any change or worried that the mass 
portion of the population is going to switch over to the modern ladder for new content and they're going to have a smaller base to trade with and interact with and play online but that's it's impossible to please everybody but i think that's the best approach to trying to cover your entire basis for Diablo 2. And lastly, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about sort of some potential changes or wish lists that I have for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Again, please let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree or completely disagree or if you want to expand upon or add additional stuff beyond what I've said. I do always read the comments and hopefully we can strike a pretty good conversation below. But the first thing that I am dying to request that we get like further into the launch is an in-game loot filter, something similar to last epoch we have loot always showing let's make it even better let's be able to decide and customize if we want to remove like minor pots or bolts or arrows or maybe you want to highlight a specific item make like runes instant above purple so they're easier to see for you let's please make this a thing second major thing is i would really like to see skill rebalancing now i want to say this like emphatically here when i refer to skill balancing one of the things that i don't like that diablo 2 mods usually do is they'll take the meta and flip it upside down so whatever's really good and led is kind of garbage and they make the other skills better i personally would just like to see some of the high-end like high level skills that aren't typically used just made a little bit better so what do i mean by that well let's take thunderstorm for example it is a completely useless skill that does no damage. It tickles monsters in hell difficulty if it's completely maxed out and has the best plus skills. Why not make an option where you could have like, so you could be 40k lightning with no points into thunderstorm. Or what about you sacrifice some points into lightning so you have like a 30k lightning, but then you have a 10k thunderstorm pulse that goes maybe twice as frequently as what it does in LED. Something that just gives you like a viable option, but it's not super overpowered. Another example could be Frozen Orb. Maybe if you made it so that it matched the clear speed and damage of Blizzard, so you could go either Blizzard or Frozen Orb, or maybe Hydra. Make it, it is the coolest looking skill in D2R. Hydra is bar none, it looks amazing. Why not make it so that it's similar in strength to Meteor? So you have the choice of being a Meteor Sorceress or using Hydra. I would just really like to see scale balancing done that way. And the third kind of wish list that I have would be the introduction of some new items and room words. Now, a lot of people have pushed back on this and have said like new room words or new items that has the potential to completely like mess up balancing. And to that, I'd have to say, do you really think that LOD room words are balanced now? Almost every build is using CTA, Grief, Enigma, Spirit, Odo, or Infinity. There's not really anything used outside of that. There is a whole whack load of room words, but they all pale in comparison to like that small like set of room words that you see on every meta build. So why not potentially add some new class specific uniques or class specific room words? Anything that's kind of like low range, mid range and top tier that would just add more variability through playthroughs and end game content. I think that's a really easy way to add additional builds to the game is just rebalancing skills and items and adding new items and room words that in itself personally from a developer standpoint again i'm not a developer but i feel like that would be a lot less than adding a whole whack load of additional content like act six or an entire new mapping system on a final note i do however think that the best long-term approach to adding additional replayability to d2r is adding a whole end game mapping system similar to what pd2 did now I did mention Act 6, I don't personally think that's a good idea. I don't know timeline wise how you would get it to fit in well like Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo 2 Resurrected, excuse me, Diablo 2 Immortal is sandwiched right in the center. How would you add an Act 6 that would make sense story wise? Like you're, you reach the pinnacle of you kill Bale, you destroy the world's don't keep, then it's gonna what plateau and you go back to the Countess Tower like they do in Diablo Immortal. I just don't think that that makes sense for the overall kind of story of D2R. Now, for those that don't really care too much about story, I mean, maybe you would like an Act 6, but I think the true answer would be an additional mapping system similar to PD2. This would be a massive additional content addition to the game, way, way more than what adding new rumors would be. So this is something that I think that I would pay as a paid expansion on top of D2R. I don't know if you guys would freak out of that idea, but it would be a lot of work to implement a whole new mapping system, but I do think it's the best for the longevity of the game. Again, 
that's kind of really all that I have to talk about in today's video. Just a bunch of rambled thoughts, getting some stuff off my chest, a sort of talking head video. So again, uh, just let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree or completely disagree with me. All comments are welcome. I do read them and as always, hope you enjoyed the video. I can do more sort of talking head videos like this in the future. Uh, but other than that, if you could throw a like on this video, share it, and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I post new weekly content on YouTube and I do stream twice a week on Twitch. So any follows on Twitch or subs on YouTube would be amazing. Other than that, guys, hope you have a fan-frickin'-tastic day, and I'll catch you on the next video or live stream. Peace out.